Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be memory planning the week of August 13th through August 19th. So this week was actually the first week back to work after a wonderful summer vacation. So as you probably remember from my last spread, I was in Montana this week and I got home very late on Sunday night and I had my first work meeting bright and early on Monday morning at 8 a.m. So it was definitely a very difficult transition back to work. So I decided to use this kit from Little Miss Paper Re because it definitely has some inspirational quotes that I felt like um, was very appropriate for this week. So this quote says, all that you are is all I'll ever need, which now that I think about it is kind of romantic, but um, I'm just going to interpret it in the sense of work that I have like all the tools and all the skills that is needed to do a good job. And I know I can do a good job. And I only purchased three pages of this kit. So I know that these two are the base kit. So they come together and it has a lot of functional items like all the icons and text stickers on this sheet and then half boxes, quarter boxes, headers and stuff on the left-hand side sheet. And then I also purchased the full boxes as well, um, which means I do not have bottom washi for this week, which means I went ahead and pulled out some washi from my collection that I think would work with this kit. So the first one is this washi from Japan and it's super pretty. It has like a watercolor type of pattern with, um, gold foil dots on it and I thought that would go really well and then I also pulled out my pink and gold foil bow um, washi from Simply Gilded. I think this pink matches the kit well and I also wanted to pull in some of the pretty bows for the first week of work just as some inspiration. So um, I'm going to go ahead and lay down my bottom washi. I'm going to stack these two and then I will work from there. I'm just speeding through this bottom washi part really fast because it usually takes me longer to put down washi if I am using like washi rolls instead of just what comes in the kit. Um, I have to white out everything in the background and then make sure everything lines up nicely so it just takes me a little bit longer. After I place down the washi, I move on to my sidebar. I chose one of the quote boxes for my top corner box, and then I also put down the flags um, to cover up the flags of the Erin Condren, and that was nice that it was already provided in the kit. For this week, I'm pulling in glitter headers from Mandy Dreams. Her glitter headers are my all-time favorite, as you guys probably already know by now. Um, so I place one down, and then I use the habit tracker to track working out. Then I move to the bottom, and I put down the Monday through Sunday box for my dinners. Originally, I had put down a half box or a quarter box with a happy moment sticker from Paper and Milk, but then I saw that the kit had this really cute this week header, so I thought I might as well use it. So I use that to track my happy moments, and then I place down a heart checklist to mark all of my moments from the week. Moving on to Monday, I started by putting down a glitter header and then I used a quarter box with a coffee sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that I definitely needed coffee coming back to work on this Monday. Um, and then I looked back at my sidebar and decided I didn't want the whole sidebar to be filled with stickers. I foresaw that this week was going to have lots of white space, so I also wanted it to match my sidebar. Um, so anyways, originally I tried to write Monday through Sunday myself in the box, but I didn't space it out very well. So I found this heart checklist that I think is from Cricut Paper Co. and it had seven hearts, which is perfect for the week. Moving back to Monday, I put down this ginormous bow sticker from MJ and Hope on a half box to mark that it was the first day of work. And I love that bow sticker, but I think it was just a bit too large for that space. So I do switch it out for a Clever Gal Crafts bow paper clip instead. And after that, I just wanted to mark that we had an all day training that day. So this first week back, I was pretty much just in training the entire week since the kids aren't back until next week. And so um, I put down some glasses stickers. I think those are from Laven Forest. And then I just drew a box around um, where I wrote training all day and I made little dashes, which I thought looked really cute. For lunch, some of my coworkers and I went to get tacos. Um, so I used a quarter box with a taco sticker from Plants with Vanessa. When I got home that day, I think I edited and I didn't have quite enough space to put down the planner that came in the kit, so I cut off a sliver of the full box at the bottom. Um, the film script sticker, I believe, is from Echo Hui Craft Co. And then I decided to work backwards because I wanted to just see how much space I had to mark everything. At the bottom, I used a TV to mark that we watch Kim's Convenience, and I think I talked about it last week or two weeks ago, but it's this really good TV show that we were into, and there's only two seasons. The episodes are really short so it goes by fast and it's super funny. 
Above that, I put down a sushi date sticker from Love Shira to mark that we got sushi. And then I did work out before dinner. So originally I put down a cardio sticker from, I think that's from MJ and Hope. And then I also used a shoe sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. But then I realized I had so many tech stickers stacked. And so I decided to write in cardio myself. Then moving on to Tuesday, I started with a today header at the top, and then I put down a Toffee Bananas Working Girl to mark that I had to get some reports done at work, and um, I had lots of files to review, and so I was carrying a lot of paperwork just like that girl is. I thought that was really appropriate. I then put down a quarter box with a box sticker from Me You Sticker Co. to mark that I had organized my office a little bit, and then I used a full box, and on top of that, I placed down a Coffee Monsters Co. emoji. Um, um, because for the second half of the day, I just had training um, at another school. So I brush lettered training with my Tombow Fudanoski pen. And then underneath, I wanted to note that we got free pizza at the training. It's very rare that we get free food at work. So every time we do, I feel like I have to mark it down. It's such a special event. And so I put that on a half box. The pizza cat sticker is from Sweet Ava's paper. And I think it's so cute. And then the remember script sticker is from K Stickers Co. When I got home, I was really tired because I'm still adjusting to my work schedule. I placed down um, the thin Simply Gilded Bow Washi and then that Nap Queen sticker I put on top of it is from MJ and Hope. I then marked that we did groceries, so I used an icon from the kit, and then I worked out before dinner, so I wanted to mark that as well. To mark my workouts this week, I used a lot of the asterisks that came in the kit. They were just really small and perfect to fit in a small space. Then I realized that I forgot to put down a glitter header on Tuesday, so I cut off a little bit of the full box to make room. On Wednesday, I started by putting down the full box at the top, and then I used a very large laptop sticker from Very Jenny Co. to mark that we had to get some things done at one of my schools that morning, and then I used a quarter box underneath that with a Taco Cat sticker from Laven Forest to mark that I got lunch with one of my coworkers, which was really fun, and then underneath, I used a glitter header with a three heart checklist to mark some of the things that I had to get done at my other site. Um, I had a lot of reports to get started on and finish and everything so I used a laptop sticker that came in the kit. I then put down a quarter box with a car sticker that came in the kit to mark that my boyfriend actually drove to his parents house that day so that he could pick up Pokey. They were taking care of her for us while we were gone and I was super excited for her to come home. So anyways, I had some free time to myself that evening, which is lovely. I used an edit sticker from Ekahui Craft Co. and then the film clapper sticker is from Mandy Dreams. I put down a me time sticker because I definitely had tons of me time that night. At the bottom, I placed down a half box to mark that Pokey made it home safely and it was so good to see her. And on the me time sticker, I ended up putting YouTube binge and workout because I didn't have enough space to put them separately. And um, the cat sticker I just placed down is from the Coffee Monsters Co. On Thursday, I started by putting down a quarter box and then I hand lettered or brush lettered today on top of that because I didn't really have any more like today headers. I used another laptop from the kit to mark that I uploaded my plan with me that morning and then I got some coffee on this Thursday. Um, we had another all day training so I wanted some coffee just to brace myself for a lot of information. Um, I put that on a quarter box and the coffee sticker is from Sweet Ava's Paper. I then caught up with one of my coworkers who has been out on maternity leave since like April and it was so good to see her. I got to hear so much about um, her motherhood experiences and adventures so it was really nice. And then I put down the full box to mark her actual training. Um, I used the flat lace sticker which is from Toffee Bananas to mark the training just because we did have like our laptops and some notepads open to take notes so I thought that was really perfect. I then put down a glitter header underneath with a quarter box that was in my collection the asterisk sticker again I used to mark working out and then at this time I was looking at my day and I didn't really like how I had like white space then sticker white space sticker so I decided to condense all of the white space so I ended up moving the coffee um, quarter box underneath the catching up with my coworker, even though that's not quite how it chronologically was but I decided it was okay to sacrifice the timeline for um, the aesthetics. 
After work that day, I actually accompanied one of my friends to her wedding dress fitting. Um, she just wanted somebody there to make sure everything looked good and just get a second opinion, so I felt very honored to go with her. I placed that on a movie marquee with a bow sticker from Hey Soul Sticker. And I'm so sorry if you can hear Pokey in the background. I don't know if my mic is sensitive enough to pick up her crying, but I had to kick her out of the room because she like keeps crying and not letting me do my voiceover. So I'm sorry if you can hear her. But anyways, after the dress fitting, my boyfriend and I actually went to a brewery that night and got some beers. So I marked that with my brush lettering pen and a beer sticker from Paper and Milk. For Friday, I started by putting down a full box at the bottom because I knew that's where I wanted it. And then I moved to the top. I put down a glitter header with a quarter box and a finally sticker from Let's Plan It. I think that's so cute. And then those um, gray balloons are from Me You Sticker Co. I then used my brush pen to mark meetings again. I placed that on a half box with a bow paper clip sticker from Planner Frenzy. We did get lunch catered that day, which is again very exciting because it's quite rare. So I used that sandwich sticker or it's like a bread sticker from a happy blue tree. I initially put down a strip of these simply gilded washi, but then after trying to decide how I wanted to space everything, I moved it down and then used a lazy day um, circle icon from the kit to mark that. I was really lazy when I got home. I actually um, passed out at like 8 p.m. after dinner. It just goes to show you that I was majorly struggling with this new work schedule and just transitioning back from the summer. Anyways, I did a YouTube binge when I got home, so I used a Love Shira sticker to mark that. I then added a Fox and Pip Relaxing Girl sticker next to the Lazy Day icon just because I felt like it was a little empty and I wanted something there so I thought that sticker was perfect to go with it and then to mark our dinner I placed down a food sticker from um, Plans with Finesse to mark that we ate some leftover Korean barbecue and then like I said I fell asleep at like 8 p.m. and so I marked that with a Sleepy Panda sticker from Sweet Fox Papery. Moving to the weekend, I first started by putting down some washi strips at the top, and then I layered the weekend banner over it. So I decided to put the other quote box on Saturday, but as you can see, I had cut it up um, at the top and the bottom because initially I was going to um, use those as washi strips, but I decided not to, so I patched it back up and used it as a full box again. I first started at the bottom of the day because we went and celebrated our friend's birthday, and I wanted to make sure I had enough space to mark that, so I placed down a half box with a three heart checklist to mark the places that we went for his birthday and then on the half box I brush lettered happy birthday and I placed down a cake sticker which is from simply me kish I write down the places that we went and add in a beer sticker from plans with Vanessa then moving back to the middle section, I first placed down a glitter header with a quarter box and a cooking sticker from Happy Dia Stickers to mark that I made some spring rolls that day. And then we watched some Terrace House, so I used a TV icon from the kit to mark that. I didn't like the way that I had initially written Terrace House, and so I rewrote it and then realized that I'm a little out of space, so I ended up cutting off a little bit of the full box just to make a little more room. And because I had already whited over that area, um, I wasn't going to be able to write on it nicely. So so I just wrote Terrace House on the bottom part of the kit, as you can see where there's blank space, and then I just stick it onto my planner. And that's typically what I do when I like white out several times and I can't really write on it anymore because it's so bumpy. Um, but anyways, I then used a record sticker from Love Shira to mark that I recorded my voiceover before we went out to celebrate our friend's birthday. On Sunday, I started by putting down a glitter header with a quarter box. The sleeping mask sticker, I believe, is from White Deer Stationery, and that sleep in sticker is from the kit. I placed down some utensil stickers from Lemon Paper Co. to mark that I cook breakfast that morning, and then I used a TV sticker from the kit to mark that we watched this movie on Netflix called The Package, and it has like literally the most ridiculous plot, but it actually was pretty funny, so I'm not sure if I would recommend it, but I would say watch at your own risk. But anyways, um, I then put down a to-do header with a three heart checklist. We went and got some boba that day, so that boba sticker is from Kina Prince. Then I put down what's left of the blue full box that I had cut up, but I decided I didn't really want blue 
in that area. So what I ended up doing was I lifted up the checklist and um, cut up the uh, pink and purple full box and put it underneath. And then I just rewrote everything on my checklist because I wanted there to be a bit of a background against it. And I thought that looked really nice. So I, I put down that boba sticker again as well. I placed down a quarter box sticker with a asterisk to mark my workout. I did really well this week. I worked out five times, which I was really proud of. And then I put down a movie marquee to mark that we went and watched Crazy Rich Asians, which was was incredible. I mean, I don't have any other words to say except that representation honestly matters and it is so incredibly powerful. So please go watch it if you haven't already. It's amazing. At the very bottom, I wanted to mark that I cook some noodles for dinner. So I put down a noodle sticker from a happy blue tree and that's it. So I uh, moved to my sidebar and track all my working out, all my happy memories and my dinners for the week. And once I was done, I decided that I had quite a few little asterisk sticker left from the kit. And that top section is really blank because I didn't use any um, date covers this week. So I decided to sprinkle in some of those asterisk stickers at the top just to add a little bit of decoration. And that is it for this week's spread, you guys. I feel like that went by really fast, but maybe not because there were a lot of adjustments that I was making here and there. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm kind of back to the work routine now. So um, I plan with will be far less fun because I won't be traveling quite as much, but I still have so much fun planning when I have work. So um, I do want to mention that I switch up my planning style for work this year, and I'm going to explain it more in my next video. So be on the lookout for that if you're interested to see how I'm how I plan to plan, I guess, uh, for this upcoming year. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and for joining me today, and I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Bye!